this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a giveaway and, and highlighting some alters from a fan of the channel. Wow Wow27 or Richie. I've been wanting to do a video on alters for a while now. I'll probably even do a more in-depth one in the next month or two. Richie really gave me a great opportunity here to talk about alters as he sent me a few cards to give away on the channel. They are just incredible. I'm a huge fan of the extended art alter cards because they really take the card, personalize it, and make it really pop out. The snapback here is really nice. It is a card that could see a little bit of play in a tempo deck in modern or in tiny leaders. A very aggressive, very powerful card and it just gives you the feeling of the turbulence of the nature of the card. The next card that we've got here is an island. This one I'm keeping for my personal collection. It really has an is it feel to it. I like the way that it has covered up even the text at the top. Now a lot of people ask me are altars like this legal? It's up to the head judge in any tournament, although I've never had a problem with altars. I just go to the judge at the beginning of the tournament, show him the altars that I have, as long as they aren't either offensive or really hide what the card is, I've always had them approved. And they're usually, the judge is really happy to see the altars and we have a conversation over altered art. The treasure cruise that we've got here next is just incredible. It had a really soft feel to it. it reminds me of Impressionist painting there at the edges. It is a powerhouse in EDH and in vintage. This is a way to really personalize your EDH decks and make them stand out. Alters are incredible, and they often get an, a great response from people, even better than foils. The Thought Scour here is my favorite of the group. It is a very playable card in a Delve deck in Modern, and what I really like about this one is the way that he's played with the borders, so that this horrifying card just really jumps out at you, and it has the little dots of blood all the way through the text really really well done. Now I'm giving away three of these cards here on the channel. The Snapback and Treasure Cruise are going to go to two commenters randomly in the comments. To qualify the only thing you have to do is mention your favorite commander in the comment and I will randomly draw at the end of April two people from the comments to give these away to. The Thought Scour is going to go randomly to a patron of the channel. Just have to be signed up as a patron at the end of April, and you'll have a chance to win that. So if you've been considering supporting the channel, you want a little bit of an incentive, that is a great opportunity there. And the island is currently going to go into my Angus McKenzie deck, although I'll probably be using it as the first card to build an Is It deck here in the next month or two. Here's some of the artwork that he has been doing since the last pre-release. We've got some of the new cards there. I really like the Sarkin and the Sight from Beyond. Sight from Beyond really jumps out there. Uh, the Mine Rot is also really nice. If you're interested in picking up altars from him, definitely send him an email. He has just started an altar and it's very reasonably priced at the $7 to $15 per card, uh, plus the value of the card. Uh, I only know him as a fan of the channel, although he does have a very positive feedback rating over on eBay. I hope he sets up an Etsy store at some point so that we can really see the cards that he's got available. Thank you to everybody who supports the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We've got a lot of stuff coming up, including a top 10 Dragon Commanders later this week, our patron pack opening. Oh, and we'll also be doing double videos all the way through April with a lot of big announcements coming. Thanks to everybody who supports the channel. You make it possible.